Welcome to Season 4 of Mutant on a Mission. It's great to start off in sunny California. For decades, bodybuilders with the dream of turning pro have flocked to SoCal. What happens after they retire? Well, if they're like Dave Fisher, they open up their own gym. It's hard for me not to root for a gym built by an actual IFBB pro. It's Dave Fisher's powerhouse gym in Torrance, California. I'm Big Ron Partlow, and this is Mutant on a Mission. I'm in Torrance, California, which is in uh, the Los Angeles area, and I'm at Dave Fisher's Powerhouse Gym. Dave Fisher's an IFBB pro. He's actually from Canada. I've never met him, but I know all about him, and I'm gonna go meet him and see his gym. Dave Fisher's Powerhouse. Dave. You would be Ron. Yes. Welcome to my gym, Ron. Hey, good to see you, man. Okay. Dave Fisher's Powerhouse. You look bigger in pictures. No, just <laughs> kidding. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I see right here you got the uh, 1993? 1993 heavyweight and overall at North American Championships. That got my, my pro status. Awesome. It took me 16 years to get that. Yeah, awesome, man. I remember watching you when you turned pro. I was already when training at that When you were just a point. little guy, right? I was just a teenager. Yeah. I was seeing Dave Fisher. I remember when Dave Fisher turned pro. It was the 1993 North Americans. I would have been 17, 18 years old at the time. And I remember it just made me realize that a Canadian could win a big show like that and get his pro card. And you know, that stuck with me over the years. So uh, obviously, if you're gonna have a powerhouse, you gotta have... Yeah, you gotta stand in front of this and... This is where everyone gets their photo taken, get your taken, picture right? taken, yeah. Yeah, 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 there you go. So how long you had the gym, Dave? Seven years, but in this location, only three years. It expanded three years ago. Uh, at a small gym for four years, and we outgrew that, and this is our expansion. It's been going good, but. Yeah, where was the other location? Like, Just a mile away from here, so okay. you, you, if you move a gym, you can't go that far, otherwise you lose everybody. Right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're looking at blocks. Right, yeah. yeah. A mile is kind of about the as far as you can go. Right. It's good to see gyms, you got a wall. That's always something I look at because a lot of the fitness gyms well, obviously don't do any of that. All the pictures on the wall are people that have been my gym. You don't get on my wall unless you've come to my gym. So even if Arnold sent me a picture in the mail, he's not going up on the wall. You got to come train. He's got to come here. That's right. yeah. <laughs> Good rule to have. <laughs> Our dumbbell section here is. I know that the dumbbell section of any gym is pretty much the most used area, yeah. so I made it really, really big. So we've got about 20 benches, all different types, they're not uh, bolted to the floor, people hate that. Yes. And we have all different dumbbells, and the dumbbells here, they stay in order, remember that. You put your dumbbells <laughs> back in order here. So the back of the gym is the power section, we call it. That's where all the squat racks and the bench presses, the deadlift platforms, it's all back here. Well, I notice you've got a legit Forza powerlifting bench. Yeah, so this is what the power lifters use in competition, of course. I built a platform for it. Not that it needs that, but it makes the power lifter feel special. So they're on their little stage. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> they step onto it. Right, they turn they into an out. animal. Yeah. They yeah. step off mm -hmm. of it, they're a normal human right. again. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to have mm -hmm. it. We have two platforms for deadlift. We don't allow drops or slams because we have a hollow basement. And it makes a lot of noise. And we don't want to scare away potential customers who are not so hardcore. That's and we have four squat racks, more than any other of the corporate gyms around. Big on legs here. <laughs> no man, it's a, it's a good setup. You guys know how I feel about gyms and their leg area. You know, that's what I judge a gym by. And Dave's gym packs some punch. He's got three leg presses, two hack squats, a whole bunch of other leg equipment, squat racks down the wall. I mean, you can go there and you can train to be a bodybuilder. He's got everything you need and then some. And you've picked everything one piece at a time. Yeah, every right? piece in here was handpicked by me because if a gym, most of the corporates, they just buy a whole line of everything and some of the pieces are good and some of the pieces aren't. I handpicked every single, even if you look at the mirrors here, you won't be able to tell, but the mirrors are cut to fit so that there's no line down the center of a squat rack. That was done purposely by me. A corporate gym's not gonna do that, they don't care. But you can't squat with the center of a crack down the or, middle. Or, like, like and this, you can't right? do dumbbell laterals no. with a crack. It's yeah, the same right, thing, right? Same yeah, idea. yeah. 
So there's a lot of thought put into this gym. How many gyms are in the area? Is it a heavy? There's a lot. A lot. We call them the corporates. Yes. Am I allowed to say their names? Yeah. yeah. LA Fitness, Spectrum, Equinox, Planet Fitness, UFC, CrossFit gyms. What else? Yeah. They're all everything. around here. So we're surrounded by corporates, but we are completely different than that. But they have the big money. They have the advertising and the budgets and all. Here it's just me. Yeah. All me. Yeah. yeah. No, that's good, man. It's good to see these gyms. That's why we come, you know? So now Dave's got a great thing going here. He's surrounded by big boxes. He's got all the chains around him, but his gym is thriving because he's able to offer a hardcore gym and a community gym at the same time. And those are essentially the places that I want to train. I love this Ibex squat press. Yes. I think every good bodybuilding gym, aside from good leg presses, should have that. Yeah, variety. that's great. And we have three leg presses. How long have you had these racks? Since, Since the beginning, yeah. Mm -hmm. It gets used for anything, everything. Very versatile. Our cardio section, we're not big on cardio. We're not a cardio gym. We have a variety of it, but our main focus is out on the weights. This is an Atlantis glued ham. No. What is it's it? a reverse, reverse hyper. Reverse hyper. Reverse hyper. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Atlantis My glute ham is over there. Yeah, yeah. It's good to see uh, Canadian uh, equipment, you know, yeah. down in the is States. Is that Canadian? Yeah, well, Montreal, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they got their headquarters there. I've been to the gym they have for a showroom. It doesn't get used that much, but it's one of those unique pieces that most gyms don't have, so we yeah. have one. Yeah. No, that's mm -hmm. cool stuff. So you want to zoom in on this? This is all, what, early 90s, most of these photos? Yeah, mid 90s. This shot's here when I won the North American Championship. This is a famous shot. That's how you win. Just take a look at that, and that is how you win. That's right. Period. You gotta suffer to look like that. You do. Do you think back to those days and think about what you went through to look like that? Yes. And, and think, fuck, what the hell was I doing? You're allowed to swear on that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I had to come in more shredded than I, I was gonna be, but I, I tore my pec three months before this show. Not surgically torn, but really, really bad pull. And the story, I went home and I was sitting on the floor with an ice pack on it. And my wife at the time, Sue Price, she came home. Uh, I was married to Sue Price, she was a pro bodybuilder back in, that was a long time ago. And she comes home and she goes, what happened? I said, I tore my pack. And so we talked about it and she said, what do you want to do? I said, well, let's go for it. I'm going to have to train differently. I'm going to have to train around it. But we did it and I knew I'd have to come in more shredded because I couldn't be quite as big as I wanted to be because it limited my training for three months. Uh, but it was my turn, it was my third attempt at the North American. She had just won the Nationals on her fourth attempt, gotten her pro card by winning the lightweight and overall that. at the Nationals in 93. That. And my show was a few months later and it was my turn to win, but I had to do it. So there it is. And I trained around, I couldn't even flex my chest, I couldn't do anything. And it was this yeah. pet here? Yeah, that one. It looks like a million bucks. Yeah, well, it wasn't, there's a, I got. A, I tore this one too. I got a few gaps all over my body, but uh, I trained around. And by the end, as when I, I was able to like bench a little bit and get a pump on it, but I couldn't train the way I wanted to. So had to be shredded. The conditioning in the legs. Yes, doesn't conditioning. hurt. Conditioning. Well, they said the judges told me when I turned around to the back and showed the judges my back and flexed my glutes. They said that was it. I got my pro card. Yeah. Old school flex T bar. Yeah. I love seeing a piece of flex. Old T-bar, found this underneath a pile of uh, equipment. It was all rusty and dragged it out, cleaned it up and said, I need that. Really? Mm -hmm. You find that at one of the warehouses? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Even all the weights, if you look at the weights are all mismatched, old steel, all different kinds. I did that purposely. I found old weights. I didn't want the octagon looking rubber plates. Uh, I wanted the old school feel, but with a sense of clean and neatness to the gym. So we have a bit of both. Yeah. Uh, but I had to purposely find, and they were in the warehouse on these pallets. I had to take every plate out and scrub it with a brush and get all the dirt and rust off every single plate. It took me half a day to do that. That was awful. Man, I lay them all out in the sun. I had to dry them all out before. This is when I first opened seven years ago. Right. Mm -hmm. you, should, you should consult for people on how to save money opening a gym. It looks how, to, like... how to get that feel. It's all about the feel of a gym. It's not a leg press, a bench press, a squat rack. That's not what is it is. It's what a gym feels like when you're in it. Right. And when people come here, they go, yeah, this is it. So <laughs> Dave Fisher, IFBB Pro, 
owner of uh, Dave Fisher's Powerhouse in Torrance, California. Thank you very much you for it, letting man. us uh, letting us uh, uh, put you in the Mutant on a Mission series. Come down and see us anytime. And now anytime. it's time. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna blast a shoulder workout. Do I have to pay a drop in? No, you're okay. Am I okay? <laughs> you're okay. And if you mention this video, if you come in, I won't charge you the ten dollar drop in fee. How's that? Hey, eh? how's that? Hey, eh? that's a deal, eh? Hey, eh? <laughs> Mutant on a Mission. I'll go. I'm gonna go hammer a shoulder workout, and I got a special guest coming right up. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> the big guy over there. This episode is brought to you by the all-new Mutant Mass. Move the scale. Hey, Mutant Nation. It's time to train now. You know how it goes on Mutant on a Mission. And I got a special guest today. I brought Manuel Romero along with me. How's it going, Manny? Mutant on a Mission. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this good. is Manny's first uh, cameo on Mutant on a Mission. I normally have someone to train with at these gyms. Um, at this gym, I don't have someone to actually train with. It's funny, I said to Dave, I said, do you want to do, uh, you want to crank out a shoulder workout? And he goes, I just get a pump nowadays. Right? Yeah, I don't I, train like I'm that I'm not going to train, I just get a pump, yeah. you know. Maybe I'm 54, day. I don't do this anymore. Sport. Let's do it, Manny. You're not a mission. Squeezing hard. Yeah, nice. Now let's go to the to a real delt machine. Real delt machine. Let's go. Keep blasting real delts. Last one, Manny. Dumbbell laterals. Explode out of the bottom on the first one. He said, Yeah. Come on. Down to 40. Come on, Brian. Come on. Go too far. Yeah. Woo. Big drop set. Give those a run. Look at that mass. Let's do it. Try those delts. Don't get messy. Get some muscle everywhere. Seven weeks. Oh, whatever. Oh, my God. Oh. Good set. 
dumbbell laterals are very important because you get to watch yourself in the mirror and uh, admire yourself. Right, Manny? Yep. That's why people do dumbbell laterals, <laughs> right? Easy, Ted. You can go to two plates. Come on. Wow, that's heavy Smith. Whew. Heavy, right? Yeah. And let's put two of this. Okay. We'll strip. One more. Last one, last one, last one, last one, last one. Nice. You know how I like to end the show huffing and puffing? So, how's that? Get a little shoulder blast, eh? It was really good. Yeah. Seven, Definitely. Seven weeks out from the Fregno Legacy. Very, 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 very good pump. Right? That's 6.5 today. 6.5 today for the Fregno Legacy. And, uh, He's looking good, training hard. Thanks for joining me on Mutant on a Mission. Thank you for inviting me, it's an nice. honor. You've been doing this for a longer time, so. <laughs> I know, I can't believe it's been uh, three seasons. So, thank you guys for watching again. From Dave Fisher's Powerhouse Gym in Torrance, California. My special guest, Manuel Romero. You guys should be um, reading about him or doing one of his routines in the magazine, so. There you go, yeah, you yeah. You know them, you know. Yes. You guys know your history, you know Dave Fisher, <laughs> Big Ron, Mutant on a Mission. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, and my, like we have all the pictures, my, the two pillars here are my little, you know, like if you come over, uh-oh, uh -oh, Dave uh -oh. at his best. If you look here, this is like some of my old stuff. I'm in Never the middle of working. an interview on TV What's you right own now. a gym? Sort of TV, so can Can't I call you back? <laughs> okay, I'm on camera right now. Hi, okay, George. bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, That's the life of a gym owner. Yeah, that was right. a good little real life snap of how there's, you never stop. <laughs>